let's advance through the wizard. There are some important settings here. One thing we can do is set up image processing options from the batch type. Essentially, you can inherit those image preprocessing settings. Another thing that is normally an appropriate configuration is to select Create a new document automatically when a document definition is applied. But you can also separate based on separator pages, either a blank page or a page with barcodes. And we get kind of granular here. We can indicate a barcode of any type or of a specified type. And then even when we're saying a, to separate documents when you see a barcode of a specific type, you can still specify barcodes that contain certain data. And here you can also indicate wildcards at this point. So you've got a very robust document separation capability right here. I found for most user needs in image import profiles, you select create a document for each image file. That's the most common setting. And note that you can use enhanced image enhancement profiles, and you can also process PDFs according to different settings, including preferring capturing data from the PDF text layer, if it's available. And we can also process Office documents. So if a Word document finds its way as an email attachment or finds its way into the shared network folder, it will be converted to a PDF file and processed as a PDF file. The next screen in the wizard allows us to delete the imported files for a shared network folder. Most users prefer to leave this at the default setting where all images are moved to a subfolder of that hot folder. And that's named the processed folder. And note that there's no automatic cleanup of batches in the processed folder. So that's something you need to keep your eye on and periodically clean up or write a program to go in there and clean up. On this topic, Let's say someone throws an MP3 file in the hot folder. It's going to be moved directly to the Exceptions folder. Keep in mind that these subfolders are created automatically. So, for instance, if you have no error files, you'll not see any exception folder. But as soon as someone does put in the wrong file type, then the exception folder will be created. To finish up, in the wizard, we can click Next and name our image import profile.